Victoria and I am so happy that you had time for a TCA minute. Today I am again working with our laser TCA intern Alec as he talks to our TCA Henry Ramos and they learn more about autopilot. Today's video is going to cover what autopilot looks like from the administrative perspective and I hope you guys enjoy what they have to say. Good morning Alec, how are you doing? Doing great, how are you? Good. Today I'm going to show you the admin console for autopilot. Okay. Here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get to the ed endpoint manager admin center and we're actually going to go ahead and we're going to create a, a profile. So let's get into there. So I'm going to go to devices and I'm going to enroll devices. And then from there, I'm going to go choose a deployment profile. Right now you can see there's no autopilot profiles created. I'm going to choose windows PC. And then I'm going to get four questions. So the basics, I'm going to put the autopilot lab profile that we just talked about. We're also going to go down here and we're going to make sure that all targeted devices are, are not converted to autopilot. So that that's actually important because you don't want to retarget machines all over again. The next thing we're going to choose here in step two is whether it's going to be user driven or self driven. And then we're going to choose either Azure AD or hybrid AD. We can choose privacy settings. And then if you want, we can go down here and choose something like the language. So if, if we have different languages and you're a multinational corporation, you can choose that. The other thing we can do is apply a device name template. So if it's going to be Acme laptop or Acme uh, desktop, this is where you would go do that. From here, we'll go ahead and click next. We're going to go to the assignments now. We're going to assign a group to this profile. So I'm going to go and select a group. And then from here, I'm going to choose that lab profile that we just created. I'm going to submit that and hit next. And now we're going to review everything to make sure that this is what we want. So we're just going to take the defaults across the board so it's easier. So now that you're going to see that there's a new autopilot lab profile and it's already assigned. So that's good. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to enroll devices. So now that we have a, a lab profile done, we're going to enroll the device. So I'm going to click here. This, this serial number is the uh, virtual machine that we made. We're going to sync it. And you can see that it's currently not assigned to anything. So we want to assign these, this serial number to a specific profile. All right now, um, now you can see it's not, now it's assigned. So is there something that Lenovo can do to speed up this process or make it easier? Yeah, that, that's a great question, Alec. Lenovo can make this easier by enrolling devices for the customer ourselves. So Lenovo knows all the serial numbers of the laptops that are going to be sold prior to that. So we can take that serial number list that we're planning to sell to the customer and enroll this for the customer so they don't have to go through this step. So the next spot here is you can see that now that this is all assigned and it usually takes a little bit of time for all of this to get assigned. So now what we're going to do here is make sure of the applications that are going to be assigned in this profile. From here, we're going to see that Office 365 is there. We're going to choose Office 365. We're going to hit properties. And then we can, you can see that I'm going to install pretty much the full Office suite here, Excel, OneDrive, what have you. And now we're going to edit that. And from here, we're going to make it required. So we're going to add the autopilot lab group and make it required. And then at this point now, we're going to review it and save, and then we're going to go through. And when it turns on for the first time, Office is going to come down. So how does this differ from Ready to Provision Plus? Ready to Provision Plus is a way for us to preload the large applications that take too long to come down from the cloud. So for example, there's some software that's several gigs in size. It's better for the customer experience to have those preloaded so they're not waiting for those large gig of files to come down from the cloud. And we're at a good point here. We have the windows on the autopilot profile. We've assigned it to a device. We've assigned the applications and now we're ready to go ahead and pull the trigger on this. Victoria, back to you. Fantastic work, Henry and Alec. And if you guys haven't already checked out our video on what autopilot looks like from the end user perspective, I definitely recommend you give it a shot. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.